perfect, perfect, perfect. Hello everyone and welcome to another video here on the channel. I'm Real Blue TV. Uh, today we're going to be talking Splitgate power rankings and you all are going to hate me uh, and you'll see here why in a couple seconds. But we did have some good matches that happened over this last week. I thought some of these matches would be something that decided uh, some big shifts in the power rankings. Overall, they really didn't. We kind of just said, okay, we know this team's going to win and that's what happened. We saw uh, one match from each team. So four matches overall. June 11th uh, was the day. Of course, it was a Saturday. Uh, but we saw Elevate and Space Station Gaming start off the day. Space Station Gaming beat Elevate 3-0. Uh, not surprising. Uh, we, we know Elevate, for one, is not on the... I, I would say just below the rest of these teams in terms of uh, of skill right now. But I've been told that they are from the European region, so they're playing with a massive ping uh, difference. So if that's the case, I feel pretty bad for them. Uh, there's no scene in EU right now, so we'll have to see if that changes moving into the next split, or maybe um, you know they can sign with a bigger org that can move them here. I don't know if that'll happen for Splitgate. Uh, small community, but uh, a game that is loved. So we'll see. Uh, I don't know if it's worth for Elevate to move them here. Um, that doesn't seem logical. Let's actually go ahead and pull up the power rankings and we'll take a look at them here. All right. So last week I also spoke, should have started off with this, but last week I spoke about how uh, the, tran the, the trade, the, the roster locks or whatever. Anyways, there was some moves. Bitey left the Kansas City Pioneers. I don't know if they dropped them or uh, I didn't. I didn't get a chance to reach out to him because he he's been very open about some IRL stuff that he's been going through on Twitter. So maybe that's the reason why he left the team. Uh, but for the time being, Booze, who was the coach, will be stepping in as the player and played for them in their matchup versus Moist. Okay, so you can see the power rankings are the exact same from last week. This is not a typo. This is actually legit. Here's why: E United went up against LG. We last week said, hey, LG is way better than an 0-2 team. They went toe-to-toe -to -toe with some big hitters in week one. What can they do against E United? Well, they didn't do so hot, okay? I still think LG is better than Moist, though. Moist went up against uh, KCP. They 3 0 them. Wasn't even close in any of those games. I mean, the TDM on Olympus went 60-56, but come on. The other game went 700, 700 to 510, then 250 to 188. Like, guys, this is this this Moist team, they're good, but I just don't think they are above luminosity right now. Plus, I don't think they're better than X set, who had to go up against T1. By the way. Xset lost this match three to one, but I think Xset has the most diverse map pool because they have only played Carman Station and Impact more than once. Other than that, all the other maps they play, all different maps so far through the first three weeks. They've probably played every map there is available. Uh, they lost the, or they beat T1 in the only game of this series on Helix, 250 to 123. They lost by 10 in the TDM. They lost 700 to 564 in on Lavawell, and then they lost by 27, 247 to 220 on Impact in that game four. So X at T1, I think these teams are kind of even. They're back and forth between, again, these are top three teams from the Winter Series, so I would expect them to be going back and forth like this, blow for blow, jab for jab. Uh, I give T1 the slight edge over X set just because they beat them in the head-to-head -head matchup this past week here. Uh, Space Station is 3-0. They had a really weak uh, they had a really weak matchup this week against Elevate. I mean, not even close, dude. 700 to 299, 60 to 46, 250 to 105. Uh, that's going backwards from game three to game one, but still you get the point. I mean, 145-point difference in game one, 14-kill difference uh, for the score of 60-46 to 46 in game two, and then 700-299. That's 401, man. That is... I See, I want to believe that's ping, but at the same time... I, that, those are large margins, man. 
You cannot be using that excuse for too long. We're in week three. I mean, it sucks, yes, but it, it's not going anywhere. You got to deal with it. All right, so let's talk about this LG versus United. Uh, so Pioneers 0-3. They lose to a Moist, who I think is not as good as Luminosity. So Moist is under them, and Pioneers are under Moist because of that. Elevate's down there because right now they're just getting smoked on any map in any game mode. All right, so LG versus E United. This went five games, 3-2. Again, LG pushes a team to the brink. And, yeah, they're the ones who pushed them to the brink because they won game one, 234 to 224. So they were up on E United. That was on Helix. Then they go to Crag for TDM. They lose by 6, 60 to 54. So it's 1-1. Then they lose on Atlantis, 700 to 609. That one's not that close, but still it's within 100. That's something we don't see very often between a lot of these games. Uh, I mean, like the average score is like 700 to like 5-something. So for them to go 700 to 609, that really stood out to me and said, okay, this team means business, but they're down 2-1. What do they do? They battle back on impact, 250 to 224. That's a 26-point difference. They played very well there. And then they go to Abyss. They lost TDM on Crag in game two, 54 to 60. And what do they do here? They lose 60 to 56. So a little bit of improvement. Last week in day two, when they went up against SSG and they got taken to five games, they lost on impact uh, TDM 60 to 51. They also lost on TDM Pantheon 60 to 56. So obviously the problem here, is that they cannot play TDM. Uh, if you go even back, if you go back even further to Foregone Destruction, when they played X set in day one of week one, they lose the TDM 60 to 55. That ended up being a 3-1 overall. So that's the only TDM they played. That's their problem. I mean, they won the Carman station 700 to 592 against X set. They won some games against SSG the next week, the next day. The problem here is LG cannot play TDM as effectively as they would like. I mean, yes, they're getting close. I mean, uh, was it 60 to 50, 60 to 51, 60 to 54, 60 to 56? But still, they cannot close out TDM. So whatever it is, I mean, they got to figure it out. Either get some more portals popping or get some more headshots going because something is not working out. I think, honestly, maybe it would be the rotations for those power weapons. Maybe they're just not uh being as effective as they could be or as their opponents are but they they're really really close maybe a maybe a roster change for someone who can slay off a little bit more than that fourth place slayer on this team which i can't even tell you who it is i mean graduating has been doing a great job vexy bala crazies all of them doing a great job um next week i'll really be paying attention to lg uh to see really who is that that person that might be the one slacking for them that that could be the difference maker to be completely honest all right so next week what can we see i don't know because there's no schedule so i don't even know who we're going to be seeing going up against each other but i will tell you this lg versus moist that might be the one that i'm trying to see because that will really determine if i have moist and luminosity uh the way i have them now so power rankings stay the same the standings did not stay the same uh, and also, I'll see you next week because I can't wait. Week number three, uh, day four. It's going to be exciting. I, uh, here's the matchups I want to see. I want to see Space Station Gaming versus E United, obviously, uh, for the two unbeatens. And I want to see uh, X and T1 was a great matchup. I, I enjoyed watching that. I want to see Moist versus LG. I want to see Pioneers versus Elevate too, because then someone's not going to be winless anymore. Um, by the way, E United is tied with uh, Space Station Gaming in the standings now. They're both 3-0, and and they both have a 75% win rate of maps. By the way, E United losing a map to Pioneers seems like a kink in the armor or maybe a shine for Pioneers. But again, they don't have bitey. They did at that time. So we'll see what happens in week three. Come back for more. You know where to find me, baby. Right here. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Oh, hello there. It's Blue. I'm a terrible dancer, so ignore that version of me on the screen and listen to my voice when I say... 
thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and of course, click on another video of mine. I heard you'll like those over there. They're pretty good.